Keith Strzok, my good friend, the founder of the National Organization for the Reform Marijuana Laws, Normal. Give it up! Thank you, um, Vivian and the Hemp Fest. What a wonderful celebration of personal freedom. It's, it's fantastic to be here. Let me start off by being honest with you. I smoke pot and I like it a lot. Okay? Let's get that. I first smoked marijuana in 1965 when I was a freshman at Georgetown Law School. And I've been a regular marijuana smoker ever since. And I'm here to say there's absolutely nothing wrong with the responsible use of marijuana by adults, regardless of why you smoke it. And it should be none of the government's business whether we smoke or why we smoke. Normal is the marijuana smokers lobby in America. We have been now for four decades. We were founded and we founded the organization in 1970. We favor the elimination of all penalties for the responsible use of marijuana. We also favor the establishment of a legally regulated market and you good folks here in Washington are gonna have a chance to vote on an initiative like that in November. You may well be the first state to actually fully legalize marijuana in this country. Let's make it happen! And we also favor personal cultivation. That is that consumers should have the right to grow their own marijuana so that if the industry tries to charge us too much, or if the marijuana isn't good quality, or if it's not convenient, screw them. We will grow our own, just like we do now. Now, what is important, I think, is that for those of us who smoke marijuana to get up, stand up, light up, and let the world know how we feel. We must come out of the closet and demand our rights. We have to do that for a number of reasons. First, we have to overcome a negative stereotype that many older Americans still have about marijuana smokers. We need to demonstrate that marijuana smokers are just average Americans who work hard, who raise families, and who pay taxes, and who contribute in a positive way to their communities. We are not criminals, and we should not be treated like criminals. Just as gays and lesbians demonstrated over the last two or three decades, they won their rights in this country largely by the courageous ability and willingness of a lot of people to come out of the closet, to overcome a negative stereotype. Well, smokers have to do the same thing. So please, there's nothing wrong with smoking pot. Don't be afraid to be identified as a pot smoker, and in fact, Get involved politically. Don't vote for a candidate for public office who wants to treat you like a criminal. Over 30 million Americans smoke pot just in the last year. If we would simply take that pledge to stop voting for people that wanted to treat us like criminals, we will change these laws in the next couple of election cycles. Now, very briefly, prohibition is a failed public policy for two or three basic reasons. One is, we waste $10 billion a year chasing and arresting and prosecuting marijuana smokers. We arrest 850,000 people a year in this country for marijuana offenses. Another marijuana smoker is arrested every 38 seconds in America. We've arrested 20 million marijuana smokers just since 1965. So for Christ's sake, just for that reason, let's move it aside. But there's even a conceptual reason. Most Americans agree. The government has no business coming into our house to know what books we read, to know uh, what music we listen to, or how we conduct ourselves in the privacy of the bedroom. Well, neither do they have any business coming into our house to know whether we drink alcohol or smoke marijuana when we relax in the evening. It is simply none of their business. So, where does that leave us? You folks are on the verge of changing policy that's been in place for 75 years. Either Colorado, California, Washington, Oregon, or Massachusetts, almost certainly one of those states, maybe more, are going to fully legalize marijuana in November of 2012. You people have an excellent chance to do that. You will change the world if you help us accomplish that. And in the, in the end, it is important to keep in mind we're only incidentally talking about marijuana. We're really talking about personal freedom. So get up, light up, 
support normal, and let's restore a measure of personal freedom to the lives of tens of millions of marijuana smokers. Thank you. Keith Strop from Normal, the founder of the National Organization for the Poor Marijuana Law.